Hi y'all, welcome to Uniquely Vintage You. My name is Michelle and my sister Cheryl and I, we welcome you to our channel. Today we're gonna do a spring refresh. We're gonna take things down and change things up just a little bit. So friends, this is kind of what my room looks like right now before I take down some of this Easter. And looking around my room, I don't want to get rid of all the bunnies because bunnies do mean spring, but I do want to take down some of the Easter elements. And please forgive that yellow flower. I was playing around and just stuck that in there and I forgot to take that out before I did the video. That doesn't belong. So um, anyway, just excuse that little flower it's not in the right place at all but this is my home that I've decorated for Easter and spring and I have loved I've loved loved it but now that Easter is over again I just want to go ahead and take down some of the Easter decor so I just happened to add one of these stems I think they're so pretty and I just thought I might just go ahead and try to use this basket. I'm going to leave that little bunny tin. I think that's cute. But let's go ahead and take down these carrots. So I think everything else is going to work just fine. But let's get rid of these Easter eggs and rework this basket so it looks more like spring. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this ribbon off. I thought the ribbon was really pretty for the holiday and Easter, but let's take it down. I like the more neutral look of this without that. And I'm gonna take this fern and I'm just gonna add it where I had those Easter eggs. Now this actually was in the back, but I'm just gonna move it to the front. And I think that is a pretty touch. I thought about removing those carrots, but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and leave them. They're neutral and I think that they work and still look pretty. And so now let's just build with some more florals. Now these are just some cheap flowers that I have in my stash. I'm not sure where they came from, but they weren't very expensive. But I just kind of like the look of them. I think they'll play into this little arrangement just perfectly. So I'm just going to add a couple of little stems around uh, this one side of this arrangement. I want it to be kind of asymmetrical so that it kind of cascades over to one side and not just all over. So let's take these flowers in here and see if I'm going to like this look. And friends, please forgive me. I, I have been outside working and I have got my work shirt on and so I didn't even think about it showing in the video so I apologize but this is just a work day and I just wanted to go ahead and film this because my weekend is going to be super super busy. Well, here's that flower that I was telling you that I used before and this came from Hobby Lobby and my friend Trisha over at uh, Absolutely You Home and Garden had did an arrangement for her spring decor and she used these floral stems from Hobby Lobby and they were beautiful and so Trisha I had to go get some because I just loved how whimsy they made your arrangement so that's kind of what I want to add in here so I've got one going over the top, I've got one kind of coming out to the side, and I just think this is coming together and looking really pretty. So you guys will just tell me what you think. Friends, I'm also gonna leave the link to my friend Trisha's video. I want you to see her arrangement she made for spring. It's absolutely gorgeous. So be sure to check the description box for that video. Okay, so here's the question. Do I leave the bunny that I have put on my door or do I take it down? I think I'm going to take it down. <laughs> I like it, but it just to me seems like Easter. And so I'm going to remove it and just go with it more plain. And I think that that look is better suited for my home for this refresh that I'm going to do. Now over here, this is uh, right as you walk in the door, I've got these gold little rabbits. And these came from Target, they're so cute. But I'm gonna go ahead and take these down because I don't think they work so much in this, uh, in this little arrangement I have at the top. So I'm gonna take those down and just leave the wooden bunny. I think that's cute. And that's all I'm gonna do right over there. I think the rest of this will take me through uh, 
until the end of spring. Over behind my couch, I have this adorable other little tree with a little Easter egg, so I'm gonna get rid of that and put that away until next year. So sadly, I'm going to have to put this beautiful postcard away, but I definitely enjoyed it. It's one of my favorites. So I'm going to take that away, and I'm also going to remove this sweet little chick and just go with the bunnies over here. And that's all I'm going to really do right here. I love the green bunnies. I think they work. I think the flowers work. So I'm just going to leave the rest of it just as is. looking over here on my antique trunk I've got this beautiful bunny under this cloche but again it has Easter eggs I've got this beautiful Easter card and then I have this Easter bunny and and they're some of my favorites but I feel like I need to go ahead and take it down and put it away until next year so let's go ahead and remove this bunny and redo this area right here I'm gonna get rid of all of this except for the buttons on the plate and then we'll see what I can come up with to add underneath this cloche. So after scouring my house a little bit, I figured that I would use these new thrift finds that I got when I went thrifting with Easton. And so I think this is gonna be the perfect place for it. So hopefully I can make it all fit underneath this cloche, but let's use this really pretty creamer. And then, you know, I got this really small little terrain. Is that not so cute? I just think that is so pretty. So I'm gonna place that right there as well. Now, to me, it still needs something because it's just a lot of white. So I think I'm gonna bring in some greenery and add to that little creamer. And I think that will be the perfect touch. Okay, so I'm loving this look right here, but I think it needs one more thing. And so I happened to find this nest in the yard. I guess it had been blown out of a tree for quite a, I've had it for quite a while and I've had it kind of put away so that, you know, if there was any kind of bugs or anything that they would come out or die. So I think it's safe to use now. It's just so amazing that these birds can make such amazing nests like this. And so now I'm just gonna add in a few little bird eggs and I just think this is gonna be perfect I just love this look for spring so now fingers crossed that the cloche will fit and this will turn out like I'm hoping it will Okay, I had to adjust it just a little bit. I had to turn that little terrain a little sideways so that it would fit and look better and not look so crowded. But I think it's really pretty. I just love this touch of green. I love the pottery. I love the bird nest. To me, it screams spring. And so I am real happy with the changes right here. But you know, looking at this sweet little paper mache bunny I have, I don't get to use it very often. So you know what? Bunnies still work for spring. So I'm just gonna leave him right here. I think he's gonna work perfect. So 
I love this new look. It's so funny what you can do to your home. Just making a few changes can make such a big impact. And you know what? You really don't have to change a lot. I mean, I guess if you had a lot of Easter out, you, you could change it. But just by me simply taking down a few things, it really made my home feel more like spring and less like Easter. And so I'm going to really enjoy this new look. Now I hope you guys will join me for next week's video because I'm going to go ahead and finish um, taking down my Easter in my dining room. And I have more probably in my dining room than I did in my living room. And so I hope you guys will come back for that refresh as well. Friends, it's always an honor to have you guys take your precious time and watch our videos. We can't thank you enough for being here, supporting our channel. I hope if you've enjoyed this content and if you haven't subscribed, I hope you'll consider giving us a follow. We would love to have you be a part of our YouTube family. We love y'all. We pray for y'all. And we're just so thankful for your friendships. But guys, before you go, I just want to leave you with this beautiful Bible verse. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to his great mercy has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Friends, it's so important that we live a life that's pleasing to our Father, but it's so important to share our faith with others. Friends, our Lord and Savior died on that cruel cross, but you know what? He arose from the grave. He is alive. And if you invite him into your heart and accept him as your Lord and Savior, you will spend eternity with him in heaven. I pray that you will, if you don't know the Lord, you'll come to know him today. Friends, thank you for being here. We appreciate each and every one of you. And we look forward to seeing the next one. Bye, friends.